Hey everybody, it's Chris from Out West with Chris, and today I wanted to chat about footwear when you're out hunting, specifically. You can apply a lot of this to hiking, but since hunting season's coming up, I was packing some stuff, getting ready for my trip, and I got my boots out of the closet and was looking at them, and, and you know, they're a boot that I'm really happy with. So I kind of decided to cover that topic of what you wear on your feet when you're out hunting and what works for me, that type of stuff. So when I'm out hunting specifically, I usually have two pairs of shoes that uh, I'll choose from um, when I'm going you know, out for the day. And some of it depends on how the weather looks, what type of terrain I'm planning on being in, and you know how long my hunt's gonna be, you know, that type of stuff. You know, if it's an afternoon hunt, there's not you know, dew on the ground, you don't have to worry about moisture, you're just gonna be out for an hour, hour and a half, something short. A lot of times what I'll wear is um, these Merrells. So these are just kind of a hiking oriented shoe. They're low cut, so they don't offer a lot of ankle support, but they're nice and lightweight. And as you can probably tell, I have gotten a ton of use out of these. These are really good shoes. Merrell makes a good shoe, in my opinion. Um, I wear these shoes to work frequently. So my go-to hunting boot is this guy, right? These pair right here. And these are the Danner Pronghorn um, hunting boots. And this is the 800 gram uh, insulation version, which is nice. They keep my feet nice and toasty. Nice high uh, ankle support, um, very well made, extremely waterproof, nice aggressive, but not too aggressive on the tread and they fit me really well. They're super comfortable. I, I've worn these things quite a bit. As you can see, they're worn. I, I don't have any issues with any seams kind of you know, coming undone. I've had them for over a year, and I couldn't be more pleased. These are, this is a great option for boots, and I tried on a couple different pairs when I was looking at getting a new pair of boots for hunting. I tried on the Under Armour. Those were nice but they just kind of had a weird feel to me um, in the, the sole area. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna go get a, hunt, a pair of hunting boots, you really want to make sure they're comfortable. If you're gonna be hiking long distance through the brush, through the rain on uneven surfaces, over rocks and fallen trees and that type of stuff, you want a pair of boots that they're gonna be comfortable and they're gonna provide uh, ample support for your ankles, and they're gonna keep your feet dry. The worst thing that can happen when you're out hunting is to have a pair of boots that, that aren't gonna do those things. Um, that's gonna cause blisters, it's gonna cause wet feet, you're just gonna be uncomfortable and eventually miserable. Um, the blister thing is huge. If you get a pair that doesn't fit correctly, it's not tight enough to hold your foot in place and you're sliding around in your boot, that's just a recipe for disaster, recipe for blisters, and you know you don't want a painful blister yeah, if you get in four miles and you gotta hike back out four miles on that painful blister. Just not something you really wanna have to deal with. So pick your boot, figure out what boot's good for you. Once you buy them, um, get them home, wear them around. Wear them around your house for a day, wear them to work, wear your boots, break them in, make sure they feel good. And if you go with a you know, good um, retailer, if they don't feel good, a lot of times you can return your boots and just say, hey, these just don't fit right. Uh, I wore them around for a day. They, they're just not breaking incorrectly. Maybe I need a different size or maybe I need to look at a different boot option. And a good retailer will take them out on return. So pick your retailer wisely, of course, and pick your boot wisely, wear them around, um, you know, make sure you're ahead of the game, you know, at least a month or a few weeks before your hunting trip. Don't go the day before your hunting trip, buy a brand new pair of shoes or boots and expect them to work as well as you need them to when you're out hunting. For me, these boots have worked out great, perfect for what I need them for. And like I said before, I've had them in really wet conditions, you know, uneven terrain. I've had them in the snow. My feet have stayed dry, nice and warm and 
Uh, I've always felt sure-footed in these things. So another important factor when you're considering your footwear and your foot care when you're out hunting or if you're on a, a long hike, something like that, are your socks. <laughs> and people, you know, sometimes don't really take this into enough consideration and they wear out, you know, a pair of cotton socks or something like that. And, you know, they get a little bit wet and before you know it, you know, your feet start sweating and you've worked up a blister because your socks suck. And, you know, in my opinion, if you're gonna be out on a trail for any major distance or an extended period of time, a pair of wool socks is gonna be a great option. So, wool socks come in a lot of different shapes, sizes, and colors. I just picked these up today. I've never tried these, but they were a good fair price. It's a merino wool um, from Kirkland, so Costco brand. They were 11 bucks for a four pack. That's a pretty good steal right there. So I'm gonna take these with me and check them out, see how they do out on the trail. I'm sure they'll do fine, um, but if they don't, I'll have backups for sure. The other day I was at Bass Pro, and this is not a wool sock. It's got uh, Cool Max polyester, some polyester nylon, and Lycra. So not really a, a wool sock by any means, but designed for hunting. I think it's always worth checking out something new, so I'm gonna give these guys a try. These were about $10 um, at Bass Pro yesterday. They're supposed to be a scent control type sock. I don't know. Wool socks typically do a decent job controlling scent, um, in my opinion especially if you have enough to change them out at least every day, you know, something you kind of want to do. My go-to sock lately when I'm out hunting has been these, and these are another um, Bass Pro brand. It's the Redhead brand, and these are the big, thick ones that they've got. And as you can see, I mean, this just keeps your feet nice and warm, really comfortable sock. I've never had a problem with blisters, and if water does get in through your boot, um, a nice pair of wool socks will help keep that away from your skin and help keep your feet dry. So besides that, you know, uh, what you're gonna wear, a few things you wanna keep in mind when you're out on the trail. Um, clip your toenails, I shouldn't have to tell you that, but clip your toenails. If you feel a blister get started, you know, sometimes you'll feel that warm spot start getting heated up, um, jump on it right away, address the issue. Take some wool skin or something, you know, some sort of blister um, focused bandages, that type of thing. If you don't have wool socks, double layering your socks can be useful. Um, it reduces the friction uh, that can be caused with those cotton socks when they get wet and sweaty. So, you know, keep those things in mind. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you something to think about. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products that I've shown, please feel free to let me know down in the description below. Thank you for watching, and thanks for getting out west with Chris.